Hello YouTube and thank you for watching. Today I want to talk about how to capture the query uh, throwing Aura 900 invalid SQL statement error. During recent uh, production uh, deployment, uh, we were running a long SQL script uh, when the execution halted uh, with this error message, or a 900 invalid SQL statement. A visual scan, uh, it was very difficult to identify what the uh, syntax error was that was causing this invalid SQL statement. So to identify, uh, I had created an after server error trigger uh, that is filtering on Oracle error 900 which will capture the SQL statement into this variable and log it into the DBA server error table. The entry will have uh, additional information uh, such as where the user connected from the OS user as well as the session user it is important to note that you do not want to raise exception uh, inside a trigger like this uh, because you do not want uh, recursive errors occurring so let's go ahead and create this trigger and what we'll do is we'll create this Aura 900 error uh, by using the explain plan button or the F10 option in SQL developer and let's see if the trigger was able to capture the SQL statement causing the Aura 900 error If you look under the SQL column, you'll see that the statement that is causing the OR900 error I hope you found this information useful. If you like the content, uh, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you.